Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, today I'm gonna prepare some stuff for Kalabugi in a week. I think it's the April 8th, yeah. Um, I did a few modifications. <clears throat> I did remove my pipes on my thousand guys because they're starting to like, have some like water rust on it and I didn't like it. So I tried to clean it. <laughs> goods and i you can probably see it's like a bit shiny right here i did clear them with the high temp clears on it same thing here so we'll see how it lasts whatever i know it's probably gonna peel here because it's, this is hot part but as long as it stay better than it was i'll be happy with that so this is the project for now for this with this video i'm gonna just complete this but this is what it is, guys. I did receive my ignitions, GDI ignitions. So it's a complete system for my 600 right here, my Pro Stock 600s. So you just plug it in the pickup coil. It's pretty simple. I have a launch control now. This is the coil. So yeah, I'm gonna install it as I go, guys. I'm gonna show you what it, what it is after. All right, guys, I did remove the, the wiring, original wiring. It was already pretty small because I removed everything when I was not needed on that thing. So this is the RS wiring. You only plug the coil here, plug the tater, that's it. Pick up coils. And this is the ACM out of it. So it may be for sale. I know those ACM now they're getting hard to get. This one is a really good one. Maybe for sale guys, not sure yet. I'm gonna start with ignition, install it. It's pretty small too, which is this one. So basically that thing, it's the computer versus that thing, pretty small and she switch and everything so i like it you label everything on each wire so it's gonna save me a lot of times to try to figure out where it goes so i'm gonna start installing everything on the sleds and this is the coil and i don't have much time i'll try my best to do it i'm just not quite sure where i'm gonna put it that thing uh, well, we'll see how it goes and uh, show you where I decide to put it because I only have one hand. Can I film at the same time I'm doing stuff? Alright guys, I did figure out a little bit of stuff. I think I'm going to put my battery down here. For now, this is my aftermarket tack single. I did install the launch control button right here. And, I'm just, and I put the, the GDI ignition right here with some two way types, I think. That's what it is. Like, so it absorbs some vibration a bit. And uh, yeah, and right now the, the wire is messy. But when I'll figure out everything, so I'll. I'll probably tuck it under here, pretty good, or cut some wire backs and reduce the wire because I think they're too long. Yeah, this is where I'm at now, guys. Now I'm gonna show you the coil. This is the coil. Got long wires, the ground, I have some 90 degrees thing. But yeah, this is the coil we have to use. So I'm going to go and ground that coil where the whole coil is. So I'm going to put it where that one was, is like so, maybe like that. Not quite sure. It's not there. I may put it, I may put it right here like this with some spacer so it does not touch does not touch 
We'll see. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. But probably there will be the best. So the wire can loop around, clip on edge, each side. Because, yeah, this is, if I put it like that, maybe it could work too with 90 degrees wire. Yeah, it, maybe this is where I'm going to put it on top there. All right, I'm going to start with it. All right, guys, I did manage to plug the coal right there. I did some little spacers so the coal doesn't touch under the frames here. So both spacers, those both are a bit long. This is only what I have right now. I'll change it with probably like titanium bolts or aluminum bolts. But this this is just for now for testing stuff. But this is what it is. I did the wire. This, this is some 90s degrees like this. And I used the, the straight it was already on the wire so it's easier for me so that's gonna be like that guys i did plug it to it now i'm gonna have to wait on the batteries it's supposed to be in tomorrow and i'm gonna try it can't wait to to see what it does all right the setup it's pretty much done i'm just waiting on my battery i should get my battery today plug the battery and the grounds and uh, I didn't place it well right now because I'm just gonna wanna start it first to see if everything's gonna be good. This is to put it on, connection on, off. And I didn't plug the tether yet. I will, but I, for now, this is what it, it is. Can't wait to try it guys now i'm working on my thousand i'm doing the carburetors i have to down jet it a little bit change the pilots because i'm going to calaboogie and it's not as cold as it used to so yeah it's gonna be uh, good to uh, change that to have the max power I can get out of that engine so this is what i'm doing right now yeah, so. I'm gonna change that jet here and they have a little pilot here inside. I'm gonna change both of that thing. I'll show you. All right, guys, I did the three carbs. They're done. Should be good for Calaboogie. And now I'm gonna install back the pipes. I did put a clear coat on it because it was starting to have like rust. You see like that rust style? I didn't want that to, like, to be very like bad on the pipes. So I like did wash it. So I did now right now I has a little clear coat. Items clear coats. So we'll see how it holds. Probably it's gonna burn over here. But I'm fine with that. So this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna re re reinstall the pipes. I'm gonna put some um, RV items there. So still look pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, yeah. I did put some uh, liquid gasket items over here. So now I'm gonna slide it back into the, his place. Those pipes are pretty tight fits, but they're okay. All right, that's it, they're all the way in. I like this. They fit pretty tight to the chassis. This is how it goes. I'm gonna put the springs and put the second pipes on. Yep, now they're gonna look a bit shinier, the pipes looks pretty good. Oh yeah, brother. Putting the last pipe now. I'll put the finger up there. all the way in this is what it is i'm gonna put the i did put the springs on the first and second put the spring on the last put the stinger and this ladder will be almost done just put back the clutch clean the clutch put it back 
and just want it done ready for color boogie and then i'm gonna still work on the 600s installing finishing installing the gdi ignitions i thought my thousand was done and ready though i remember last race this little tab broke here to hold the, the, the tank it cracks so i'm gonna have to rebuild it okay, it should be fine yeah i thought it was done but no guys and this is the tray i'm gonna i fully bend it now i'm just gonna weld the corner each corner so that my tray is gonna be done for my battery all right guys <clears throat> i did cut that with my machine i did some line i'm gonna have to bend it where the black line is it's basically gonna be like a little um, battery tray to hold my battery in in, in my chassis my skidoo so i don't want the battery to fly around so i'm gonna fold those four corners like that probably weld the corners so the battery can sit there down in it yep all right so yeah this machine can roll this is where i roll my pipes to do my two-stroke pipes you can bend it there it's like a bender like this and the bottom one the cutter I can cut anything on the so it's a three on one so now i'm gonna bend it where my line is i'm gonna wrap it like that yeah. now you just bend it 90 degrees yeah I think it's good sorry for the camera right now i only have one hand so yeah i did bend it like that could it go a little bit more yeah i'll bend it all and i'll show you the result after all right guys i'm gonna test the spark plug if it make fires or not first i did plug everything like it says on the papers so we'll just test it out before to start up so I'll crank it to see. Oh, sorry guys, we forget the switch on. All right, beautiful, beautiful fire. All right, I'll test it out now. I'll put the spark plug on and we'll see if it works. I'm gonna put some fuel in the carb just to try it. Now we're gonna crank it up. guys i just shut it off uh, it's it works it seemed to work very good now i'm just gonna finish the wiring i didn't finish it because i didn't know if it was gonna start or what so i didn't want to clean it up and i had to do something so i'm gonna plug the tether it's not done yet and i will plug the tack to see like how it works and to test the the two-step so can not wait to try it guys all right guys i'm gonna test out the two step if it works now. So we'll start again. pretty pumped about it guys 
All right, guys. Both sled are ready for tomorrow. Load in the trailers. Have few things more to load. And uh, see you. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, man. Kalaboogie.